very very nice piece of ham spiral ham and I'm gonna just dress it up a little bit and put it in the oven and you know the ham them come with them come with um them own flavoring thing and already but me always try add my own make my own a little bit more nicer you understand so first thing let me show you I have um, some onion and fresh pieces of uh, tarragon that I'm, I, I just put on the tarragon and the onion and then I'm gonna rest this the, the ham on this after I finish glaze put in my, my spice and stuff I'm gonna rest it on this and that's what it's gonna bake on now the ham is already cooked so it don't take any time you just want to warm through but as you know it's always good to infuse flavors so let me see what I can find in the kitchen add some flavors to it and whatever turn out it's gonna be yardy belly style you get to me I say remember me tell you in my kitchen I found some stuff that I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some clothes now clothes is just regular clothes like we use in Jamaica for put on ham so I'm gonna use some of that I'm gonna sprinkle some paprika yes I'm not gonna use any salt because it has salt already and I'm gonna use a little bit of grace Caribbean tradition jerk seasoning now the first thing I'm gonna do first is gonna put some yellow mustard yeah I'm gonna put some mustard over it so that everything that I'm gonna add after that will adhere to the ham and uh, ham and mustard goes very very well it's a very good combination all right so that's what I'm gonna do is me alone so I can show you know, the, met the methods but you'll see the finishing you get what I'm saying oh I'm gonna put some more sugar may I use this you know I'm gonna use this but as I said, I have to kick it up a little bit. I can't just make it so so so. You get what I say? Hey. Ingredients to the back end of the the the, the um ham, the part that is gonna turn down. And I also put some whole clothes down on the on the board as well. It's gonna smell make the whole place smell nice and smell like Christmas, you know. And so now I'm gonna just take my ham, turn it the right way, and then glaze the top and then put it in the oven. Have it all crusted nicely and let me tell you something the 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 old clothes is reminiscent of caribbean christmas if you now smell wool clove in your arm for christmas at in the caribbean you now have no christmas i'm gonna put this in the oven right now a pretty man yeah i put it in the oven right now and i'm gonna make it bake for i'll uh, just uh, a little while and i'm gonna continue to to add more of my 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 seasoning packet yeah, my little sugar and spice thing. And yeah, I'm going to put this in for probably about, probably about 45 minutes, if so long. Um, keep it low. You just want to warm through the arm. You don't want to cook it. You don't want to pressure yourself. All right? Yeah, when you see the finishing, you see? So see the finish arm here. I'm going to make it stay in the fridge long, in the oven long, not fridge, oven. See there? The glaze just perfectly blend on it and thing and thing. I'm going to slice him up now. You see all of that are the juices. That are the juices. I'm going to slice him up now and put present him in the chafing pan here. So now, you understand? So I'm going to show you the finishing. Yeah? And I'm going to stick it back in the oven again after I slice him up nice. Cause I mean, you know some people like them um, wetty wetty and things. I don't like it. So. I like my um, firmish. You know? So this are the finishing right there. So you see it look nice and pretty. I just find it, let's just cut a little hole or so, and then you see, dress it up. Remember me tell you. See, I've basically sliced my ham up in, into bite sized pieces. I take off all of the fatty, fatty part of it and the bone and you know, the giblets and them little top. I take them off and discard them. As a matter of fact, I put some of the giblets one side for cook some ackee and them things. What I call giblets, the little, you know, piecey piecey we can use. So I clean off that, make sure it's palatable when people are going to eat it. And then I sprinkle the remainder of the sugar glaze on top of this now. And I'm going to pop this in the oven um, just to keep it warm and make, make all of the glaze just saturated and thing and thing. And this is basically the finishing. I'm going to show you a, a picture of everything when it's done. And hopefully you like it and you try it at your um, home. And yeah, now I'm going to sprinkle some more cloves over the top of this to make it just give the flavor keep on giving it flavor and yeah make the thing look nice and neat and fine and sexy and loving and cute yardy belly for it.